And then you talk about money. Well, where's the money? Where's, where's this power going to come in to the Libertarian Party? How are we going to bring that in? Heck, I've been trying to do exactly what happened in the revolution that's still going on. We've been screaming to bring that into the LP forever. It's because there wasn't the embracing of the no compromise message. They are begging to come in. Why did they not come in in 08 and Denver? Because they didn't perceive the Libertarian Party as representing what they were doing. You, you, you think I don't know hundreds of thousands of dollars went through my fingers? And I'm telling on, on tape, yeah, and McCain Feingold, and, 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 and everything, kiss my butt. First Amendment, I do what I want. I do we, we're looking for forms to fill out. Why? I want to get all the money from, you know, people advocate, oh, give us every Libertarian gate, five dollars, five minutes, five, it's all this collective mentality. Stop it. Keep your money. Go be activists. I will do what I can to serve your efforts. Because I know that thousands, that tens of thousands of libertarians in every little community, every little party, every little city, every county, we get the inspiration, the same that we were successful with with the revolution, and I go to them and I just say, I am serving you. Go, let's go whip ass. With a hardcore message. You think that they might be afraid of that? They, the, the attention that we get on cable news, on Fox, on CNN, all the attention that won't be Ernie, it'll be you! Thank you. Thank you. Same question I've asked everyone so far. Uh, I hope you reviewed the LNC budget, cur current operational budget. If Washington Watergate needs to go. Needs to okay. go. Yeah. Uh, good question. What would you take out of the budget? Biggest thing? And what would you add into it? Anything that doesn't go to serve individuals is a waste of money. I went to the national headquarters a couple weeks ago. I went to Washington. I went, and it's probably a square footage about the size of this room. $10,000 a month. No parking. All vacancies all around, but nobody's in that building. <laughs> it's in the Washington, D.C. We have such a low self esteem that we need a water gate, no less, and dress, make us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> You know, this is what, in, in 06, when I wrote the national chair, then I'm going, don't, don't sign this. Don't do this. If you've got to have a headquarters, you know, go, get out of the belt, at least. Heck, warmer climbs it. <laughs> we have Freedom's Phoenix workshop. It's probably about a third bigger than this one. Video studio. Radio studio. Two nationally syndicated radio shows. Silk screen. Printing press. Sign production. Four or five hundred DVD uh, capacity uh, duplicators for DVDs and <laughs> This is what we would call it a workshop. It's not the honeycomb hideout. It's not a headquarters. It's a workshop. It is an inspiration for other people to work. Because good people like associating with good people. Productive people like associating with productive people. The headquarters in Washington, D.C. is a waste of money. done out of Arizona. We do newspapers all the time. Freedom's Phoenix was an evolution of that. On the website. Where, where, where's all the, heck, there's not even a single link off-site to other pro-freedom, libertarian, activist people doing anything. Well, it's, and then we have the party coming out and they're, they're assuming the virtues of us being uh, freedom on economics. So I'm going to even mention the war. No war on drugs. You know, nothing about gay rights or anything. Never why? What, is this a smaller government, less taxes thing? Hell, I can get that from Sarah Palin. <laughs> Question from the audience. When is a decla declaration, declaration of war required for an open-ended military operation on the other side of the planet? And when is it not constitutionally required, and why? You would have to embrace the concept that the president's commander-in-chief has the power to do you know, the, the War Powers Act. They can go and send my children or yours off to go fight somewhere else. They have that power. You first, you have to grant that power. You know, when oh, imminent threat, imminent threat, imminent threat. It's like, what are you, we, we want to be the third war party? We want to be Rudy Giuliani and say Islamofascism, and every time we say we get $100,000 from somebody or something? You know, I am not afraid. You know, the thing is, they want to use fear for us to go, yeah, but you know, there's, there's guys out there who want to kill us. 
There's people that want to, you know, socially, you know, they don't want to be socially and economically engineered by us, so they might get mad. Well, what's the solution? Stop trying to socially and economically engineer them with a U.S. military guy. corner and doing it. Let's stop trying to socially and economically engineer everyone. And all of these problems and the fear goes away. We're not a threat anymore. Right on. One of the challenges I have as state chair is, is trying to run an organization with limited resources. And not that I beg a lot, but you know, there's times when I go, hey, it'd be nice if the National Party took care of X, Y, and Z. What do you think the relationship of the National Party to the State Party should be? National Party, this is, in Arizona, we had a lot of contention with National. Because we tried to just be left alone. You know, we're, you guys are going to do whatever, we just want to be left alone. If you're going to do anything, provide a resource for us. Defend, I mean, you would keep talking about branding. What is that? Defend the definition of the word. You know, we're libertarians. We, each state has their own platform. A lot of them are very radical. A lot of them retain their platform. What is it that I need national to do for me? Well, I mean, you know, uh, have a convention that's a party. I mean, it's party. Libertarian party, party. Man, let's rock and roll. Fine, you the LP News? I think you should have tell the story of all the great things they're doing across this country because the stories that are not told are the ones that are the most effective, the ones that are the most fun, the ones that you never hear about. Why? Is it because they, they threaten their idea of control and how they want to direct from the top? But a success from the bottom? Success from the bottom needs to be promoted. The web page needs to be promoted. It needs to be more interactive. It needs to be open. No more secret meetings. No more of this. Enough to be libertarian and want to be you know, away from this government. They can, are we going to be able to advocate for the libertarian party to uh, open itself up for us to scrutinize it? We're going to be members of it? Well, we need leaders to tell us how to go there. Is this Beltway mentality infected the National Libertarian Party too? Let's stop. You know, I, I want to say final things up here. I, I just want to, I want to share this with you. What I'm talking about is going to happen anyway. The economy's going to go. People are going to be looking for answers. People are going to be looking for that third party that he keeps talking about. People are going to be doing and Fox News, CNN, all them, they are going to look for that person and they're going to say, man, this is a guy that we want to, to uh, espouse. And what I learned through the Perot thing when I was a young man back in the day, the end of the activist and seeing how this stuff goes, whoever the press says, this is the savior, this is the guy, this is the face, it ain't him. Okay? <laughs> I guarantee you that. It's going to be you. I am running to advocate so strongly that you guys understand, no matter what happens in St. Louis, that in the end, there's going to be an understanding that it was always up to the individual. It was always up to you. And that I understand that, and I'm going to bust my ass not to be the one that's sitting up here. You're going to be reading about the Libertarian Party in every little community paper all over the internet. All the candidates have you know, made an impact. It won't be about this one person said something. It's going to be Fox and CNN talking about, oh my God, how the hell did this whole state go Libertarian? Yeah! 